Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Island Solo. I am Mr. Hiccup and we have a lot going on. Um, I was just actually editing the last video I recorded and I realized I have done a lot since I've brought you guys back. I've been just kind of here at the base grinding away and yeah, I need to give you guys an update. So, as you can see here, um, I have set the Theros to breed. And they're popping out eggs like crazy. But, here's what I was talking about. This is the exceptional egg that we need to tame everything but Euteranuses and ducks. Um, ducks take fish anyways, but anyways, those two things will give us the next level up. So we're going to be able to tame most things using this kibble. So I've been anxious to get this kibble started. So we got the egg laying going on. I have changed the kitchen area. As you can see, I moved the refrigerator over. It is now right next to the generator. Bam! Open this wall up. So, uh, completely covered in this area. Put this so we can see out. I just wasn't liking the flow and the fact that the refrigerator was inside. just kind of wanted to open this whole area up. Uh, make it a little more flowy uh, open this up as well there's not a door here anymore so from the workshop to the kitchen everything's just kind of opened up here now now let's go up top because there's a lot of stuff has changed up here like the greenhouse that I built I've been sitting here just grinding away built the greenhouse didn't even bring you guys back last episode uh, for some reason, when I walk in the greenhouse, I got a crouch. I don't know what happened, but it won't let me just walk in here. So last episode, I left you guys um, looking when I was looking for a dung beetle. I had to go back in the cave like a handful more times before I finally ended up getting some dung beetles. But we did get a couple to spawn. They were low level, so um, we're going to work with them for a little while because their weight stinks. Um, so I'm just going to be pumping weight in these guys. Hey, we got some fertilizer going on. But, uh, yeah. So, I have four plants in here right now. I have, uh, centronol, uh, rock of fruit, or, um, carrots. I have potatoes, and I have corn. That's all I have planted so far. Uh, production has just really gotten started with these guys, so that's all we have gotten done. I did bring poop machine over here uh, to feed our dung beetles and yeah so there's our theros over there just laying eggs like crazy um, I may need to turn them off because um, when they lay eggs that are fertilized it takes up room in the refrigerator um, they don't stack but if they just lay eggs normally they stack so, um, but I just kind of figured if they're over there doing their thing, then as we go and we make stuff here, then, uh, we'll be able to just grab some eggs and make kibble as we go. But for today, I got two things we need to do. One, we need to craft up as many of the focal chili as we can because that goes into our exceptional kibble um, I've already went out harvesting rare flowers uh, that's something I need to show y'all eventually is where to get those because if you look over here um, I have 156 here now the reason that rare flowers are so important besides kibble is because they go to feed our um, beehive. I don't remember if I've done this on... I think I did. Yeah, we've done this on, on a video, right? Um, but anyways, so uh, we're just going to take a look in here real quick. We got 36. Run away. Um, as you can see, that short amount of time they're still stinging me. It takes... You take quite a bit of damage. Uh, that's why you had to have the ghillie suit to get in there. Um, but they still have enough right now so we have all this in here that we can use to make kibble um, 
So we need to gather up all the different types of berries. Um, let's see, we got some miho, those, those, those. Um, then we got enough to do a second round, almost. And then there's some mihos. Okay, so we got our berries. Let's get those thrown in here. All that in there. Um, I've been picking up uh, parasaur eggs just to eat. Because I have so many of them. Okay, so now we need cooked meat, centronol, and water. So let's take care of the water real quick. Oops, throw that back in there. And now we have five water. Throw those back in there. Now, what do we need? We need centronol cooked meat. Okay, well, let's grab uh, centronol and let's grab some cooked meat. Throw those in there and we should be crafting. Now, we should have enough to make, I think, at least five. Yeah. So, I think water is going to be the next thing we run out of. Um, why are they all empty? Because it's... Oh. Go away. I don't need this in there. Um, when I'm cooking, I really got to... Okay. Well, we didn't make the first one, so... Uh, we do have all these colors in here. I'm going to take this wood out because we don't want that making anything. Let's go grab some thatch real quick. Fiber thatch. So when you're cooking thatch, it's the best thing to use just because it won't make... Um, oh yeah, I got a... it will not make the charcoal that goes into making colors so now we've thrown the charcoal out we shouldn't be making any dyes we should only be making food so let's remove these dyes So now we just have in here what we need. I'm going to throw these dies just over here in this bin for now. This is kind of our kitchen bin. I did put it down. Okay, we'll throw the wood and the fiber in there because we don't need that now. I need to fix my armor too. My armor stays broke it seems like. So, yeah. Now we're crafting up this. I don't think I have any other focal chili made up already. I do not. Okay, because I did turn it into the kibble. We do have enough kibble. Five kibble is should be four to five should be enough to tame a high level Rex or high level Thero. So um, we're pretty much at the point uh, to where our Thalacat, our Thero, our Rexes, whatever. Um, we should have enough kibble with five to tame one, but that's the reason I want to make more and I want to get this started because we're going to need a bunch because you, you figure five kibble per tame is a lot of kibble. Um, we're going to need so much kibble, it's not even funny. But the great thing about it is, is once we get our really high levels that have our stats that we want, we're not going to need, well, yeah, we'll need to make more kibble because even then, when we do, we're going to do the imprinting, we will use a little bit of kibble, but it won't be near as much kibble. So I think we'll be good at, on that aspect. But for now, all right, we got two made up. Awesome. 
it takes forever to cook in this thing too so uh, we're looking good we're gonna need some more cooked meat maybe some more centronol eventually but we're looking okay on everything right now like I said we should be able to make at least five of these I just kinda wanna show you guys how I was making them cause off camera I'm gonna make a little as I go but we're gonna make five of these today and then we're gonna turn around we're gonna make five of the kibble so you can see what all goes into making those because once we get our five of these made up then we just put our uh, thero eggs in here and our um, rare flowers and then, then we're gonna have to get our fiber back too but we may have to go and get some more mijos let me go ahead and do that. I'll grab the mijos, the fiber, and the eggs, and we'll stick it in there. We'll go ahead and get that crafting while we're waiting. Because both of them will craft at the same time. So let's just grab a couple stacks of mijos. Okay. Um, we do have our fiber that we put in here. So we'll grab that. And then... I want to use these up first. By the way, they're not taking up all that room in the refrigerator. And if I'm not mistaken, we need to grab the rare flowers. Okay, let's do that real quick. So, one, two, three, four, five. And throw those in here. Now we should be crafting. Yeah. So now to kind of craft as we go. Um, so we're on our last water. So let's go ahead and get some more water. Because the kibble requires it too. So only one's going to make. And then it's going to start over. So. Alright. Get this thrown in here. Now once we are able to get the uh, we got that in there just in time <laughs> once we're able to get the industrial cooker made instead of using the cook pot this will go a lot quicker uh, cooking with the the regular cook pot takes forever but we do have one kibble made, two kibble made, check us out. Let's go ahead and refill our jars. This is kind of a pain having to go back and forth. But this is the way you gotta do it in the early stages. It's, like I said, it's a little bit of a pain, but it can be done. Alright, so we have two made, we have three more of those, so we got all of our focal chili made up. Now we're just going to, we're waiting on our kibble to be done. And then that should give us enough for two tames, so. And we should be good. I mean, that, that should be. I'll just take and throw the rest of the stuff in the refrigerator so we can use it later. One more. But so that's how I made it. Um, if you don't have the Structures Plus mod, if you're playing on console, um, just go to Art Wiki. You can Google it, um, and you can look up the different kibbles and stuff like that. Pull it up on your phone as you're playing the game or whatever. Um, it'll show you exactly what you need to go into your kibbles. And that's all there is to it. We've got made five kibbles. So that's how I made the original five. And that's what I'm going to be doing periodically. I just wanted to get that on camera so you guys will know exactly what I was doing here. Um, get some organization going back on here. Okay. Um, let's 
Sorry, I like for my refrigerator to kind of be organized. So yeah, um, we have enough to make five more kibbles. So we'd have a total of 15 for three teams. But I think that's going to be good for now. I just wanted to show you guys how I ended up making this kibble. This kibble. And uh, yeah. So um, there was something else I was going to show you. And it has completely escaped my mind. Um, you know what? Let me repair my armor real quick. And I think I remember what I was going to show you. Um, let's go ahead and do the... Uh, I don't want you over there. I want to repair you. Um, we need to do the next cave. Go ahead and repair that while we have it all. I want to repair. Uh, you're going to take organic polymer to repair. Uh, well, that stinks. Anyways, we'll just take all that with us. Um, we don't need anything special. This is a pretty easy cave as well. Turn the pot off. Everything else is off here. And so, we're just going to take our RG. And we're going to pick the right dino. Toothless. And we're going to fly over to our cave. So we'll pull up our map here, and the cave is right in between two mountains. Right where our little blue arrow is headed, there's a little spot between the two mountains. That is where our cave is at. That's going to be the second cave that we do. And the first one was down in the southern part. Um, this one is just as easy as the first one. Short little simple cave. Um, this is also the best chitin cave. Or cave to get chitin in. A lot of people call it the chitin cave. And it's pretty self-explanatory as to why. Um, they call it the chitin cave because it's the best cave to get chitin in. Anyways. It should be just right down here. It's not too far from base at all. And right on the other side of this hill. Let me get this out of the way. We're not quite there yet. The little spot on the map I think was wrong. It's not here. It's up here on the other side of this. Anyways, I thought that was the spot. Let me get up here, find the real spot, and I'll show you guys where the cave's at. That may have just been this hill here that it was showing. Because over here... Hey, what level are you? Um, where did you go? Be the next question. No, I'm not interested in the berry onyx. I'm interested in the Thero that's level 20 that we don't care about. That's coming to attack us. Anyways, here's the cave opening, right here. So let's pull that up on the map. So it's right next to that little spot on the map that I was talking about. So this is going to be your entrance. So, let's get this guy real quick. I he wanted to come over and pick a fight with us. Now. 
Get the map out of the way. We're going to put this down. And I'm going to rename it, and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay. So we got that name, we got it placed down, and uh, that's just so if I'm grinding off camera, I can, instead of flying over here like we did, I can just hop over here, run the cave real quick, get some more artifacts out of it. Um, a lot of people prefer to build little shacks out and, you know, just come and just rerun the cave over and over again. But with the awesome teleporters, my thing is, why would I do that? If I have awesome teleporters. Okay. Well, they come out of nowhere, and that happened very quickly. <laughs> as soon as you come around that curve, by the way, you can run into bats. So just be on the lookout for that. Got some snakes here. Scorpion. Like I said, this, you know, using a baryonyx in a cave just to take care of some stuff. Throw a couple level ups in there on top of it. Um, your health looks pretty good. Your weight looks okay. Melee, I don't know what I want. Let's just upgrade health, I guess. We're gonna need it in later caves. Let's see. I want to keep all this fish meat. I want to drop all that. Um... Let's see. I don't need that, 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 that. Um, no, no. And we'll keep the rest of that. Give him some meat back to eat. And we should be good. hate them things. Let's fix my armor before I came in here. Leave me alone. Okay. Ah, oh, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, so much for the armor. So in this cave, you pretty well just keep going down, down, down. Go all the way down. I don't want to drop down there though. Now that is where we don't want to be. So we're going to go this way. And we have a couple more off here to play. And they're gonna spit at me first thing. Bats gonna attack. Let's go ahead and get these guys. They were kinda wanting to hide and do a sneak attack on us. There's the artifact, but we have some creepy stuff. Creepy crawlies over here.
Okay, if you're on anything else but the Baryonyx, absolutely do not get in the water. Okay, and don't just hop down off in the water either if you can help it. Um, luckily we've already been in there, we know there's no piranha, but sometimes there is. Sometimes that can get very bad, so... There's the artifact of the clever. And this cave continues on around, there's other stuff, but once you made it to this point, just continue down till you see the artifact right there between the two little pieces of water. Then, all you gotta do is get the weight off of your dino. And that's all this meat. There we go. Okay. Yeah, all you gotta do is just keep going down till you see the artifact. Once you see the artifact, grab it, take off. You just keep running up till you're out of the cave. That easy. Like I said, this this may if it wasn't for the the completely horrible stuff that's in here that you gotta deal with and fight all at once, I would say this cave would be easier than the first cave that we done. Um, both of them are fairly easy though. It really just depends on your dino and what you have. So. Well, okay then. So let's get back to base. I know that one wasn't as insightful as our first cave run. But seriously, that was all there is to it. I mean, it's a quick in and out. You're done. Ready to get back to base. With a whole bunch of very useful stuff. Um, that cave's not really good for loot drops either. Why is it doing that? I'm not interested in... I'm very honest. What level is that? Tap a chair. 12. Horrible. Okay. Toothless buddy, you're just kind of in the way. But yeah, that, that, the clay, the, uh, if I can talk, <laughs> the cave of the hunter and the cave of the clever, neither one are good for loot drops. So if you're wanting loot drops, you're going to want to do some of the higher caves we're going to do in later. Um, another good place to go to get loot drops is Carnal Island. There's always a drop coming down. There's a cave there. A, you're killing, you know, a lot of alpha animals. You can go there and get a lot of loot um, very quickly. Um, so if you're looking for loot, that's what I recommend doing is go kill alphas. Um, alphas are great for loot. But like I said, you know, you add... Uh, the loot drops coming down on Carnal Island along with the alphas and the cave and everything else. Allosaurus. Tap a chair. What level are you? Very honest. In the way again. Eight. Garbage. Okay. But yeah, that's that's probably what I'll end up doing, and I may show y'all that, uh, but I'll grind that area quite a bit off camera, um, because we're going to need to get us a better rifle for taming, um, we're going to need to get us some decent saddles for boss fights, and where are you going, dude? Um, yeah. I mean, it's just, I'm cold here at home. Let's go ahead and eat this egg. I need some food. Um, but yeah.
So we're going to do some grinding um, on some loot. But I'll do a lot of that off camera. Like I said, I may go show y'all what that looks like. Let's put our artifact up before we lose it. So we got two of the three artifacts we need to fight our first boss. I need to make another artifact thing because we need to put this on top of the house. Um, I don't remember where I made that at. Uh, right in there. Was it miscellaneous? Um, it may be over here. We got to get that done though. Mm, miscellaneous. No. Well, then. Cooking. Crafting. No. Um. That's none of those things. Okay. Where did I craft the last one at? I thought it was here. Cooking, crafting, farming, adobe, metal. Is it under storage, maybe? Storage. It's not under storage. I think I've already checked that. Um. Yeah, make it in here. Uh, I need seven more obsidian. Oh, that's so aggravating. Okay, well, we'll do that in there in a little bit. Um, anyways, I have a couple things else I was wanting to show y'all, so let's go grab some obsidian. We're going to take the long way to go do that. And I want to show you where I've harvest my... Um, wildflowers from man I cannot think today what is happening it's like I have all these ideas and stuff I want to talk about and everything in my head and I turn the mic on and all of a sudden my mind just goes blank it's like what was I going to do I nearly need to start writing this stuff down I kind of just wing it and have fun with it though um, I hope you guys enjoy it that way because it gets kind of crazy sometimes but hey it's arc. Arc gets kind of crazy. So you see these bushes here? You bring a berry harvesting animal down here and harvest these bushes. Now these bushes are all around all the swamp areas. Um, but if you harvest those, they will give you... This is the best place I found to get wildflowers. Over here, around these trees all these bushes harvest these they have a lot of wildflowers in them and it's just all throughout I almost got too low there all throughout the uh, swamp areas you can find this grass growing around the rocks and in the middle of the trees and I was going to try to find some more to show you, but I don't think there's any over here. Um, but there may be some growing around over here. Um, but yeah, just all around here. You just have to fly around the banks to look for it. Um, I just come down and I harvest up those two little spots over here I showed you all ago. And that's been enough to keep me and what I need of wildflowers. So I'll see, it's already back. I can come harvest some more. Um, I harvested that about three times to get the amount that I have, and I have my gathering rates turned up times four. So, um, if you're playing on official, you may have to find some other spots like this and come harvest these as well. But, yeah. Okay. Well, we're running out of time, and I want to get our thing made. So, I'll bring you back, guys back when we have our obsidian. Alright, so we have our obsidian here. And, I'm just going to look it up again because I don't have a clue where it was at. D 
don't know how to find it in the folders. So, let's go find and figure out where we're going to place this. We have one there. Um, where do we want it? Hmm. Maybe over here. Would it look good there? Maybe down here? Um. Let's see. Second flyer needs to move eventually because I'm going to put our farmer right there. Um. We don't really have a good corner down here, but I'm thinking about starting like right here and then putting one every every section. Just the starting of every section because it was at the starting of that one. So we'll put it here at the starting of this one. Just like so. Throw this in here. Awesome. Now we have the hunter. I wish it would show you what it was. And the clever. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got a lot done. I got you guys caught up. I'm going to keep grinding away here at the base. So the next time I come bring you back, there'll probably be some more changes. Um, but hey, you know, that's how you get there. Um, I know we, I try to save like the cooler stuff, the, um, the stuff to, you know, show you guys the cooler stuff, the cave runs, the taming, the stuff on camera. Um, one of the things that is not shown very often in videos and it's because people that make videos just don't have the time to produce and put all that footage out there um, and plus that's boring to watch uh, you guys know how to harvest stuff and grind through stuff but <clears throat> one of the things because I, I watch a lot of youtubers myself um, I, I really enjoy this game. I enjoy learning about this game. I enjoy seeing the way other people play this game. Um, but a lot of people see that and they're like, man, th things come so easy for them. Well, what you don't see is off camera is there's a lot of grinding going on. There's a lot of time spent getting this stuff ready, going out and grinding up, you know, the stone and the wood and... Uh, the metal and stuff like that so don't get discouraged guys if it's not going as smoothly a lot of this stuff takes place and a lot of time has passed in between episodes just because of all the grinding and the preparation that takes place to make this next the next video um, a lot of times when I was playing with my friends and stuff what we would do is we'd be at the base kind of grinding away on something and be like hey um, I saw this high level dino over here um, and then we all jump up and go take a look at that and it makes the gameplay seem a little better that way um, because it's spontaneous you just kind of run up, happen to run into stuff um, when you're making these videos you find that high level dino and it's like oh let me go get some stuff together so I can hit the record button and we can all go along on this trip um, but point being is I just didn't want you know if you guys are playing you know uh, just don't get discouraged. There's a lot of grind that goes into this game, but you can make it fun at the same time. Um, just break it up, do, go explore, go do different things in between. Uh, go look around for some high-level dinos. Make it fun, because uh, there is a lot to this game, and it is fun. Um, but I just want to throw that out there, because I know it's like I cut film, <laughs> and I'm having a hard time finding... Uh, dung beetles and then I start film and then bam all this stuff is here uh, that was a lot of grind that was a lot of work that went into it 
but don't get discouraged guys I had a blast doing the grind and getting to this point and that's the reason my mind was running 100 miles an hour it's like oh man I want to show all these people all this stuff that we've been doing um, make it fun um, take some of the grind out uh, take a trip down the beach just see what animals you see you might even see a high level low a high level low end dino like a level 150 trike and you know what that's awesome that's worth taming that's worth taking a minute from the grind to do that um, have fun with it guys um, I hope you're enjoying the videos I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one mm, bye bye